signature green dark pit there. Uh, green pit, not green dark pit. Alright. Gonna go with the Nair? Uh. Oh. Is K Switch playing Paladin? Well, I'm pretty sure he's put. JMX! I'm pretty sure K Switch is playing, uh, Pit. Alright, dash attack. Catching him off guard. Gets another back air there. K Switch with a down throw into Forder. Not gonna connect. Back air just whiffing on his feet and not gonna get the back air kill. Very nice, gonna get the arrows off after avoiding the explosive flame. Ooh, arrows gonna get beaten out by the neutral air. And that was actually smart from uh, from Desley there. If he had caught K Swiss, it would have set up for a forward air and K Swiss not able to get away from the explosive flame. Pitch jump, not enough to jump over it. Down throw, down air, not gonna connect, but he does get the fair on the tech chase. Very nice, gonna go with rapid jab. And catches him, but he's not able to get the kill until he catches the normal getup with the back air. Another back air. Desley trying to compensate with all these hitboxes, hoping that Case Swiss runs into him. Case Swiss. Able just to get a poke hit there. Alright, very nice conversion from Desley there. Another Nair from K-Swiss, trying to catch him off guard, finally gets another Nair. Not going to get the back here, K-Swiss DIing out. Another Nair. Tries to get the arrow to catch out the jump, but Desley staying in shield. Jump down air. That old Nair is uh, from the Kid Icarus characters. Not able to get the Nair, but gets hit with a back air in return. Guardian Obatar is not going to do much for Case Wiz there as Desley just waits it out. Down throw back air, not going to jump into it. Ooh, he gets him that time. Catching his knees right there. Very nice ledge cancel from Desley. Forcing Case Wiz to respect his movement a little bit more. Especially with that up smash, uh, with that up smash punish. Down throw into... Oh, tries to go for the up air uh, for the tech chase there. Not going to connect. Alright, holds forward with the shield and gets the Nair on the tech in place. Gets the up smash, seeing that he was trying to come down with Nair. Very smart from Case who was there. No, not going to beat out the Nair. Palutena was invincible. Ooh, not gonna get the uh, upwards angle arrow. Alright, not gonna get the down air either. Case was doing really well with his ledge trapping. Down tilt? Nope. Not gonna go for any punish on the jump. Very nice. Continuing to hold neutral for Case was here. And backs up into center stage once again. Guardian Overtar is just going to beat out that back air there. Pushing Desley away. Ooh, not going to save him from anything there though. That back air confirm off the down air. Uh, after, uh, after the down throw. My bad. Right, they probably didn't choose the right stage, but the stage we're going to go to next is Smashville. Battle. 
All right, Krom coming out. Should be a little bit easier matchup, especially for Krom holding a sword. Has a, a better disjoint than Pit there, a little bit more kill power as well, but he's more gentleful than Pit. Not gonna get the down tilt on the two frame there. K-Swiss again trying to hold center stage and he waits for the air dodge, but he's not gonna, able, uh, not gonna be able to get the down tilt afterwards. He need a lot of percent for that whiff. Very nice, just popping shield. Uh, as Destiny was on the ledge. Alright, gets the back air as he's falling down. Ooh, gets him with the down tilt, but he's not able to get the kill just yet. Krom, not gonna make it back that time. A little bit too far for his air dodge to reach. Desley doing really well with his ledge cancels there, using as uh, as extra momentum and movement against K-Swiss. He didn't know how to really punish it. All right, gets the fair there. Gonna get the four throw into the de uh, into the forward tilt. Very nice uh, DI mix up from K-Swiss there. And uh, Tech Chase gets the backwards up air into up B. Confirm combo does like 30 something damage. Up air, up air. K-Swiss trying to compensate a little bit there, but he does get the Soaring Slash right there. Not going to get the down tilt, neutral attack, uh, neutral, not neutral, get up attack, going to catch him off guard there. Alright, Desley, definitely doing really well at trapping K-Swiss and does get the, the second stock. Ooh, not going to get the back air there, just offs for the four there. And gets pushed away by the dash, uh, by the get up attack. Tries to swing at the forward air with his own forward air. It's not gonna work out for him. He does get the back air. It's not gonna kill just yet. All right, I like what Case was there, just backing up just in case he rolls. But Desley didn't give it to him. Just getting with the crucial get up. Another fair train. And there's the back air. Case was does make it back, but is this enough? No. Back throw. Gotta watch out for that fair. Oh, just barely missing his fair. Alright. Avoiding the up smash completely there. And air dodges into the down tilt. That is game two for Desley. Case was did case did a little bit better with a pit uh, with a pit pick I believe, but um, Krom's susceptibility of being gimped really hurt him. I'm gonna switch it to Corn now. Corn got some amazing buffs the previous patch, definitely made her more viable than she originally was. Case was uh, definitely uh, def uh, Case was was a Corn pit player at the end of Smash Four, so. Um, Hopefully this is transfer wall for him and does not get gimped by the neutral there. Very nice uh, awareness from Kasus to hold on to his jump. Alright, landing with there there, not gonna connect. Uh, not gonna be able to do anything, but does get the fares. Alright. The zero drift on uh, I believe it's Dragon Ascent is very abysmal after it ends. Like, you just pop nowhere. It's kind of like Smash Bros. Zelda up B. Like, after your up B's done, you're not going anywhere. You just gotta accept, like, you're not drifting. Alright, Explosive Flame just barely whiffing on Case Swiss there. He gets the forward throw. Looks like he's gonna go for a side pin. Yes, he just missed the Dragon Pin, though. Oh, very nice. Just using the dash attacks, uh, shield invincibility to beat out both, uh, Fang shot and 
the way. The, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like what Casewis is doing there, using his back air. Very large disjoint there. Does push him towards the stage a little bit, but Explosive Flame gonna catch him off guard as he's landing. Dragon Fang shot a little bit too antsy there. Desly continuing to rack up some percent on him. All right, that's the up air. Not gonna, uh, not gonna kill just yet. That's the kick. And multi hits, really hard to parry, especially one like uh, Palutena Nair. Ooh, gets a down tilt after landing with Nair. Not gonna be able to get anything else off of it, but it's it's solid percent. Another falling there. Gets him with a turnaround and grab into uh, fourth throw. This was looking a little bit better in this game, especially with Korn. Not gonna get the dragon pin there. And he has no jump. This is very detrimental, especially to Korn, who has no drift after all the ends. Desley catches him and gets that stock. Shield pokes with the Nair. Dragon Fang shot gonna connect. He's not gonna get the the aerial dragon pin. Alright, more nairs just, uh, on that shield. Not gonna connect uh, not gonna be able to get a connection. Dragon Fang shot just jumps over it once again. What are these conversions from Desley? He's getting some very solid percent of case was. I guess to get up attack to punish the ups uh, the up air and gets his feet with the back air. Those wings are massive. I respect the counter attempt, but that Nair going to kill him. 3-0 from Desley going into Loser's Finals against Crunchyroll.